Hello, boys and girls. Oh, I'm so excited to see you, my friends. Remember last week when I was here? We learned about, who did we learn about last week? Jesus. We learned about Jesus. Do you remember how we learned that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey? And they, everyone was waving palms. What were they saying? Hosanna, praise Jesus. Hosanna. Good job. Last week we learned about Palm Sunday. But what holiday is coming up this week? Do you know? Yell it out. Easter. Wow, and Easter is all about Jesus. Remember, you can wiggle in your seat or you can even sing along with me. Here we go. There, we're going to sing it twice. There was a king who lives for us, and Jesus is his name, oh, J-E-S-U-S, 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 and Jesus is his name, oh, again. There is a king who lives for us, and Jesus is his name, oh, J-E-S-U-S, 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 and Jesus is his name. One more time. There is a king who lived for us, and Jesus was his name. Oh, J E S U S, J E S U S, J E S U S, and Jesus is his name. <gasps> Give yourself a big pat on the shoulder. Good job, friends. Let's get ready for the story. I wanted to put on my yellow sunshine shirt because the story we're about to read, the Easter story, although it starts off kind of sad, it ends really happy. And when I see the sun, I feel happy. So we can remember that Easter is a happy story. All right, let's get ready to read about the Easter story. I'm going to count down from five again. And when I get to zero, I want you crisscross applesauce eyes on me. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Ready. Okay, now the Easter story happened a long time ago. A long, long time ago. It's about how Jesus died, but then he rose again and he's alive. And he did that because he loves us. And it was his plan all along to save us, to help us, and then to rise again so we can have him as our friend. So let's dive in. Now, as we read, I'm going to be showing you a craft that you're going to do. I'm going to stop and color the craft, but your teacher is going to decide if you want to do it while I read or after we finish the video. So that's up to your teacher to decide. Here we go. Long time ago, Jesus was made fun of by people that didn't like him. They used mean words and, and did unkind things to him. Do you see how the illustrator had chose to use all these dark colors here? Because sometimes when I see dark colors, it makes me feel kind of down. Let's look at Jesus' face. Do you think he's happy? Or kind of sad? Can you show me a sad face? This is not nice what they're doing, is it? Let's keep going. They are mean to Jesus. I see more dark colors. It must be kind of sad and painful. And then Jesus died on a cross. Now remember, that was God's plan. Although it was sad and painful and it's okay to feel sad about it, God did this so he could help us and that we could be forgiven and have Jesus as a friend now. So I see some more dark colors and all of Jesus' friends put him on what we call a tomb and sealed it with a big rock. That means they closed it. Do you have a door in your classroom? Can you point to your door? 
They put a door in front of where Jesus was. Hmm. That's the sad part of our story. How a long time ago Jesus died for us but he died to help us. So let's look at our cross. Now you're going to get a cross too. It's going to have tape on it on a white piece of paper. And you can use crayons or whatever your teacher decides to color with. And we're going to start off with some dark colors, just like our book started off kind of dark and sad. Hmm. If I want to use a dark color, should I use yellow or orange? No? What about purple or black or brown? Yeah, okay, let's try that. Now here's the fun part. You get to scribble over the cross. So I'm gonna just keep it on the bottom. It's a little bit hard to see. I'm not gonna color on the top yet, just on this bottom line. And then go all the way across. You can do the whole page. I'm just doing a little part. And all the way down to the bottom. And I use my dark colors. Okay. Now, that was a sad part of our story, but are you ready for the happy part? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. If you're ready, shake your hands like this. Okay, here we go. Do you see? how different the colors are. Look at this page. I see lots of yellows and oranges. Hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen. Mary Magdalene, who was one of Jesus's good friends, was sadder than she'd ever been. Jesus had been inside his grave for three days and she missed him so much. He died three days ago. So they went to go visit him where he was. But when they got there, it was totally empty. What? Jesus had risen. An angel said, your friend Jesus is not here. He's alive. Jesus is alive again. This is the great news. Then they saw him walking along a road and he said, don't be afraid. Go tell everyone. Look at all these pretty colors and bright colors, blues and yellows. This is good news. Jesus rose from the dead and we celebrate that, that he's alive. And everyone shouted, celebrating, Christ is risen, alleluia. Can you say that with me? Watch me first. Alleluia. Your turn. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ is risen. That is the happy part of the Easter story. So, the God, should we finish coloring our cross? Wait a minute. Do you think I should use more dark colors? The end is a really happy story about Jesus rising from the grave. So, what if I use yellow? That's a bright color, like my shirt. Maybe a pink. Maybe some orange. Okay. Let's do it. And there comes the fun part. This scribble, scribble, scribble. Little bit of orange. Now, look at this. I'm only coloring on the top now. I did the dark colors on the bottom and the bright colors on the top. Am I going to color the whole page with yellow? No, just the top part. Okay, I have my colors ready now. Are you ready to see something super cool? Ta-da! You're gonna have a cross when you're done. And now when you see the cross, you can think about how Jesus is alive and he has risen. You can think about Jesus when you see this cross, how he died for us, but it's really happy because he is alive. So happy Easter. Thank you for reading the story with us. And I hope you have a wonderful Easter. And guess what? You can come to church here if you want on Sunday. We'll tell your parents about it. You can come hang out with me and some other friends 
and we'll do some activities and games and crafts, and it'll be really fun. We'll celebrate Jesus. Happy Easter!